What up, peeps and peepettes? Morbjorn back today with more Warframe, and today we're going to talk a little bit about Korra. She's changed a lot in the last couple days, especially since her original release. So hopefully this, this video won't be outdated right away, but we'll see. Uh, so Korra is the 35th Warframe to be added to the game. And fun fact, the first brand new Warframe to be added other than Primes since I started playing. Hooray, that's how new I am. Now that that's out of the way. Um, Korra is one of, uh, probably my, my top three for frames, actually. Very fun frame to play. I've been playing the hell out of her uh, while I've been playing. I did stream it Saturday night, so if you missed that, you should probably make sure you have that bell notification turned on. So you get notified when I stream. Um, because when I do stream, more often than not, it's Warframe. I like to stream Warframe on YouTube. I don't really do very many regular videos, so if you, if you get, again, if you want to catch one of those, hit the bell notification next to subscribe. But if you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that. Like right now. I'll wait. Okay, I've waited enough. Korra. Her passive ability is called Venari. Venari is a ferocious Kavat that fights by your side, and if it dies, it's automatically resummoned for free. Um, and while the cat is out and about, you get a free boost to your speed. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that speed boost is affected by ability power as well. But first ability is called Whip Claw. Basically, you just whip stuff with a chain whip that has blades on it. Does some damage. Are you going to be killing a whole bunch of stuff at high levels with Whip Claw? No. But you can whip the hell out of some lower level stuff and one shot them. Um, whip Claw kind of plays into Korra's second and fourth abilities. Not so much for using on its own. Now, her second ability is called Ensnare. Basically, you wrap a target in chains, and that living chain can propagate, meaning that will, it will ensnare enemies around it. Um, now, you can use Whip Claw on the Ensnare to refresh the trap. So, um, its duration is reset, so you don't have to recast it. Um, and it will reset its propagation count. Right now, its base, without any mods, is it'll propagate twice. And if you hit it with a Whip Claw, it'll refresh that. Now, if you do have mods, I believe it's the range mod. It does allow it to propagate more than twice. Um, so there you have it. It doesn't say that anywhere. I wish it did. Um, but then the third ability is called Venari. So, you have control over your cat as soon as you get the third ability unlocked. Until then, you just have a cat that just kind of does what it wants to do, which is like cats in real life. Um, I wish I had a command ability for my IRL cat, but I do not. Um, so, you can command Venari to focus on a target. So, basically, if you're, whole, if you're hovering over a target with your reticle and you hit the third ability... Venari will stop what it's doing and rip that target's face off. If you hold the third ability, it'll cycle between the three postures that Venari has. Attack, protect, and heal. Attack, pretty self-explanatory. The cat will attack stuff. It will prioritize things that are in your ensnare and fourth ability called Strangle Dome. But it will just go and attack things. In protect, it will still attack things, but it is more likely to charge and knock down enemies that are focusing on your character, which is kind of neat, um, but kind of overshadowed by the heal posture, which put, produces a pretty hefty passive health per second heal. Um, so if you're in low level content, you're just going to be using attack. If you are in high level content, you are going to be using heal. Uh, and then the fourth ability is called Strangle Dome, because somebody at DE has some deep-seated personal issues, and they made a Warframe about it. Um, it is a dome of living chain that ensnares and strangles enemies within, and any foolish enough to approach. So it has the same propagation 
thing that Ensnare has, except it doesn't have a limit. It'll just grab enemies that get near it and strangle them to death and hang them out to dry, basically. And while your enemies are being strangled in the Strangle Dome, um, other enemies that aren't in said Strangle Dome will then shoot the enemies that are trapped in the Strangle Dome. It says foes outside the trap will try to hasten their comrades' deaths by shooting them. So not only are you CCing things in a pretty large area, doing a little bit of damage to them in the process, but making them pretty easy to shoot, uh, since they're not shooting at you, but their friends that are, aren't CC'd are then shooting at them and not you or Venari or your teammates. So pretty cool. Um, its duration can be buffed up pretty high. Um, you see its base duration is 20. And with mods right now, I'm at almost 40 seconds with my build. It could be higher, but I kind of have a balance right now. It's not the best build in the world, but here you go. So I do have one form into this, and that's for the Exilis mod. It comes with a dash polarity. I changed it to like an equal sign, if you want to call it that, or like a double dash. Uh, the other bad thing about Korra base is that the aura is a D or a Vazarin. Um, I would love to change it so I could use, you know, like corrosive projection or energy siphon. Um, but now I'm just going to put more forma into it and that'll change that. But that's basically what we have right now. I've got 145% strength, 111% range, 130% efficiency, and 193% duration. That's a pretty duration heavy build. I've got a vitality in there just to give me a little bit more health. Um, but I've got cunning drift and a one from max stretch. Um, I would have more, but you see there, I'm at zero capacity. Um, and that's just where I'm kind of sitting here. My narrow-minded isn't fully upgraded because I don't want to hurt range to the point where the fourth ability is really small. Uh, it'll still be bigger than no mods at 111%, but it won't be max, like, map controlling huge, which is something you can do but then your duration is, of course, going to be hit by that because you're not going to be running narrow-minded. So that's where this build is kind of a balance. You have the power strength to get the heal and uh, that sort of thing from your cat, but you also have duration to really help with the CC from four. Now we're going to get some energy... And then we're going to spawn in some enemies. I'm going to spawn in 20 Corrupted Heavy Gunners at level 100. I'm going to be invincible just so I don't have to worry about my my health. But the cat will not be invincible. Um, and you can kind of see the abilities here. So the first ability by itself doesn't do a whole lot of damage. But if you have a 2 rolling, which you see 2 doesn't do damage by itself, the whip ability does do more damage. It's still not a lot, um, but these are level 100 corrupted heavy gunners. But we're going to hit them with our 4 ability now. And you can see here that I can stand over here. All those other corrupted heavy gunners over there are now attacking these corrupted heavy gunners. They're not dying super fast by any means, but look at this. I mean, these guys are basically CC'd. These people are hard CC'd. They're not going anywhere. You can use, the, you know, other abilities from other Warframes to really clear stuff out. And the thing is, you can actually cast more than one four at a time. And then you can use Whip Claw on the Strangle Domes and actually do a little bit more damage to everything. So if you had lower health targets or targets that aren't, you know, level 100... Corrupted Heavy Gunners, you're probably going to kill them if you hit Strangle Dome with your Whip Claw. Um, it'd be nice if Whip Claw refreshed the duration on Strangle Dome, but it doesn't. But Strangle Dome does give you the opportunity to easily dispatch enemies um, that are caught in it. And as long as you don't stand within the firing path of the other enemies, Trying to kill their friends faster 
um, you're really not going to take any damage. And especially on melee heavy enemies like Infested, Strangle Dome completely destroys them. So, um, you of course are going to want, um, you know, strong range and melee weapons with Korra. Um, her abilities are more about CC other than the cat, which is now dead. So you can see here, you can either wait 45 seconds to get a cat back for free, or you can hit three, spend a little bit of energy, and get it back for free. And the cat has been in attack mode this whole time. I can hold three down. Now you can see Venari is closer to me and is waiting for something to attack me to pounce on it. Um, and the cat just jumped off the edge of the map. Okay, there it's back. Um, so, then we're going to put Venari in heal mode. As you can see, the heal is pretty hefty. It's a pretty good heal. But, there you are. Let me know what you guys think of Korra down below. Are you still farming for Korra? Uh, have you played her at all? What's your build like? You know, if you're using a different build, let me know. I'd love to see your build. I've seen some ranged builds. You know, to have a shorter uh, CC duration, of course. But, um more about just controlling a larger area, albeit for a shorter amount of time, but a much larger area of control. I have a lot of fun with Korra, just the free cat, the different things that you can do. Korra synergizes very well with a lot of other frames just because of the nature of her crowd control. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think. So if you like the vi this video, if you like this episode, Please hit that like button if you want to see more Warframe on my channel. Annihilate that like button. I'm really going to have to see some, some support for Warframe. Not that I'm going to stop playing it, of course. I'm always going to keep playing Warframe because I have fun. But Destiny 2 is a lot more prevalent on my channel. It gets a lot more attention. And, of course, I do want my channel to grow. So, show your support if you like Warframe. Um, if you want to see more of my content, do not forget forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have anything to say, like I said, what's your build like on Korra? Put it in the comment section down below. But don't forget to have a good day, everybody, and I'll catch you all next time.